All right, great. My name is Matt Victor. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in Li Wei Tsai's lab at the Picower Institute for Learning and Memory. Uh, and today I'm excited to share with you a little bit of my work in building an artificial circuit made of engineered stem cells to understand how uh, patterns of activity that are normally found in the developing brain can shape the final properties of that adult circuit. And an easy way to think about neural circuits and how they're arranged in the brain is to imagine that individual light bulbs uh, in a set of a string, uh, Christmas string lights are individual neurons in our brain. And much like these cells, neurons are electrically coupled to one another. Um, and uh, I'm not only interested in how these circuits are formed and how they're maintained throughout uh, uh, adulthood, but collectively with members uh, in the Tsai lab, we're interested in how these circuits might falter in Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and to do this, I'm taking an unconventional approach to study circuits by using a technique that has revolutionized the field of uh, stem cell biology called cellular reprogramming. And what that means is that we can take a small skin biopsy from a healthy individual or a patient from a uh, suffering from a neurological disease and culture them in lab in petri dishes. And these are skin fibroblasts, they're sturdy, they proliferate fast. Um, and what we can do is hoax the cells to go back and become stem cells. And these are induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs. And then we can use these iPS to differentiate them into virtually any cell type in the body, uh, including our own favorite neurons, the brain cells. Um, and so these are my reprogrammed neurons. Uh, they came from a healthy individual, 22-year-old female. Um, and there were a skin biopsy that was reprogrammed into neurons. And what I did here is that I tagged the cells with a protein that allows me to use light to either activate them, to turn them on or off. So that means that flashing lights control the activity of the cells. And this is a work that was pioneered by our own Ed Boyden in the media lab. And so these cells um, were seeded into a multi-electrode array. So a single dot of cell suspension was made uh, into this microwell that has electrodes. Uh, that can read the electrical activity of the cells. Um, and this is the image that's been installed um, outside tonight. Um, and I'm using it so that I can use light to trigger uh, patterns of neuronal activity. And then by uh, having the cells uh, growing into these multi-array um, electrodes, I can record uh, their activity in response to my stimulus to define the parameters in which I want to define them as. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, my actual experiment. So to, what I'm doing is actually I'm growing this uh, reprogrammed neurons in the lab, and I'm trying to mimic neurodevelopment. And what I'm trying to do is um, activate them with patterns. Oh, sorry. That's sad. OK. <laughs> it worked when I tested it. OK. Well, so this is supposed to just flash. But the idea is that I'm using patterns of uh, it's, it's <laughs> it's okay. huh. So I'm using patterns of uh, light activation to mimic uh, patterns of activity that's naturally found in the developing brain uh, to figure out how uh, to assess how the impact of uh, neural activity uh, shapes the properties of the circuits. So what we're hoping to do is to begin to untangle um, some of these uh, properties of neurons by studying a more simplified version of a neural circuit, which is extremely intricate, where individual cells can make thousands of connections. So uh, with that, uh, this is still very early stages of my project, <laughs> but I'd like to um, thank my lab. And I encourage you all to visit our lab website to uh, learn a bit more about what my amazing colleagues in the Tsai lab are doing in our efforts to develop new therapies to treat neurogeneration. Um, and I'm also um, actively on Twitter. If you want to see more images of my reprogrammed cells, I encourage you to follow me uh, and to continue this chat via email or later on. Thank you.